Hello everyone, how are you all today? So today we are again going to study about something very interesting. Are you all ready? But I am a little confused and you have to help me out. I was wondering what is common between air, water, sand, rocks, you and me. What is that is common between all the things? Now you would be wondering what is the matter with her today? Correct! It is that these all things are made up of matter. All things that I mentioned are made up of matter. Now you would be thinking that why this matter matters so much? It matters because everything that is around you is made up of matter. Now today we are going to study about what is matter and what are the three most common states of matter? Matter is something that has weight, occupies space and has volume. That is matter. So, anything around you, whether it's a box, whether it's air, whether it's water, whether it's your water bottle, Everything is a made up of matter. Now we look at the three important or the three most common states of matter. So repeat after me. It is solid, liquid and gas. Let's start with the first state of matter that is solid. Solid is something that keeps its own shape and do not flow at a given temperature. The thing that's lying next to you, is it a box? Yes, that is of solid. Is it a bottle? Yes, that's also solid. Did you touch your pencil? Yes, that's also solid. Let's go to the second state of matter. Second state of matter is liquid. Now liquid flows and it takes the shape of the container in which it is put. Right? So don't forget it flows and it takes the shape of the container that we put in. But yes, it is matter because it has weight. Now take an example, you went to a school, you poured your water into your water bottle. So you felt it heavy, but you started drinking this water and your water felt a little lighter. But when it was empty, that means when there was no water, it was very very light. That shows that water has weight. So, liquid is the second state. Milk, oil, water, these are the liquid states of matter. Now, run quickly and have a glass of water. Pour the water in the glass and see that it takes the shape of the glass. Now, when you pour it in a bowl, it will take the shape of the bowl. So, that's about liquid, that is the second state of matter. Third state is the gases. You cannot see it. No, but you can feel it. Yes. And it takes up space. Now, you have a balloon. Balloon which is just has no shape. You start blowing air into it and it's becoming bigger. Why? Because you filled in air. That means air is taking up the space. So 
Yes, it qualifies to be a matter as it is taking up the space and it has weight also. Now, you can do one thing. You can do a simple experiment. Tie two balloons on a scale, two ends of the scale. Okay, two blown up balloons. Now, you are going to do one thing. You are going to take out the air of burst one balloon. You will see automatically the other balloon with the air is going to come down. That means it's going to weigh heavier. That shows yes, air has weight. So these are the three states of matter. Again, shall we repeat it? It is solid, liquid, and gas. Now let me give you an example of something that takes all the three states. Water. Water is the liquid state of the matter. Now you ran and you put the water into the freezer in the ice tray. Yes, it became solid. So it took the second stage of matter. Now you decided to boil the water and it turned up into the water vapors. That was the third state, that is the gases. So this is about today's topic, matter and its states.